we are trying to do here something that is new and unique in, in a country with so many competing priorities. Somebody has got to make the decision that this is a priority among priorities. And that this has been done is because of leadership. We thought that malaria was here to stay. When you look at the statistics and we say we've seen a 60% drop uh, in malaria, mortality and morbidity, you can see it on the ground, the empty beds, uh, the pediatric wards and elsewhere. So there's been very real success. Simple things that work, long-lasting uh, insecticide treated nets, residual uh, indoor spraying, simple and effective uh, drug, a city, a community health worker system, mm -hmm. enabling people to have health insurance. September, it was our first big campaign. So we distributed more than 1 million.5 uh, nets to under five kids and starting this new treatment with, with ACT. If you have been only waiting this combination of uh, a strong program of prevention and the strong drugs, and then it was like uh, things started to change. <laughs> Malaria is reducing compared to the last no, years because of the program they started distributing mosquito nets and killing mosquitoes in the houses. She has nine children and uh, before the use of super net, they used to get really sick but now as they got educated about super net, they no longer get sick. Trust IRS as the solution to malaria. They are comfortable with it. They're not worried about malaria because of because they have this IRS. Nyuma haje ko arteme ina yote yikore shamu kuruhura malaria. When Primo came, malaria reduced uh, at a very good pace, yes. The parents come to buy for the little children. We want to, to make sure that uh, we are treating really malaria. So this rapid diagnostic test will avoid resistance for drugs if you are, use it properly. The perspective is to have this test available at the community level, making sure that our community health workers are now treating malaria, not fever for flu or fever for any other disease. I think we have to, to be very careful to keep uh, the good result that we have now, uh, keep all of this strong method of prevention. The success are there. Imagine we, we go for strong prevention campaign with distribution of net, new drugs, just two years after, you have results. If you compare to what you have been saying, the difference is there. You feel the impact of what you are doing here. We cannot eliminate malaria alone. We are a landlocked country, so we need also to have the same resources for all the neighboring countries. The malaria cases, there are still many. At a, a certain point in 2007, it decreased, but it started to come up again. Even we are sometimes forced to add more beds because the space is not enough. This year we are going to buy 4 million of long-lasting net. This is with the Global Fund Round 8. So we are going to do a integrated measures campaign and to distribute house to house long lasting net using community health workers. So we have at least thirty thousand 
community health focus in charge of case management in all villages. They educate people telling them whenever you get malaria, please immediately go to the hospital. Every person who comes to the hospital and gets the medication gets better. So they just tell people malaria can be healed. Financing cannot decline at the rate that the malaria declines. Because we have succeeded so well, our people are demanding that we not only stop malaria but eradicate it, so they won't accept anything less. It gives hope to our neighbors that it can be done. Those are things which, with the availability of funds at a global level, we've been able to do on, on a scale we hadn't been able to do before.